All right, you've seen how auto save works. Now let's take a look at auto recovery. Now auto recovery is in the same vein as auto save. And I'm sure at this point you're kind of scratching your head going, ah, what's the difference between the two? Which one's he talking about? Well, auto save again is going to incrementally save our document, right? Auto recovery is going to attempt to recover our documents in the event of either an application crash or a system crash. So in other words, Flash is going to attempt to retrieve any lost material for us, which is wonderful. So the difference also between auto save and auto recovery is, as you saw a moment ago, auto save is set on a file by file basis. We have to make sure that it's set for each of our files. Auto recovery is application wide. So we set it for Flash itself. We don't have to set it for each of our individual applications. So what I'm going to attempt to do here in this exercise to, to show you how this works is we're going to go and set up our auto recovery settings. And then what we'll do is we will create some content. I haven't shown you how to change your file yet. We'll just do something really simple. And then I will attempt to simulate anyway a flash crash, if you will. Not the kind that happens on stock markets, though, the kind that happens on our desktop. And then what we'll do is we will see if flash can recover our material. Okay, so hopefully this will work. Now, if you're on the Windows side, head to your edit menu. If you're on the Mac side, head to your flash menu and head down to preferences. Of course, our auto recovery is set inside our preferences as we saw not too long ago. So this is inside our general category all the way down towards the bottom auto recovery right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from 10 minutes to just one minute just for demonstration purposes. Note, though, that it was turned on by default. Okay, so he's activated by default. Go ahead and click on OK. All right, with that guy set now, let's go and change our document, make some kind of change to our file. Now, the change that we're going to make is going to be very, very simple. Again, I haven't shown you how to change anything or create anything in Flash yet, so I hope the simplicity of this example will not take away from the awesomeness that is auto recovery. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and grab my rectangle tool out of the toolbox there. Go ahead and grab him as well, or you can tap your R key on the keyboard. And then notice inside the timeline panel, we have folder one and layer one. Go ahead and click on layer one. And all I want you to do is just click and drag out a rectangle on your stage, something like this. Okay, that's all I want you to do. Very, very simple change. Okay. Now, head on back to your black arrow tool, your selection tool there at the top of the toolbox. Notice that I now get an asterisk at the end of the document tab, jeffsmovie.fla asterisk, because we just changed them by creating that rectangle. Now, notice we get this dialog box coming up here. It says, you have unsaved changes to this file. Would you like to save your document and enable auto save at this time and also enable auto recovery? I'm going to say no for this example, okay? All right, now I wanna simulate my document crash or my application crash, I should say. So if you're on the Windows side, I hope this will work for you. Try using your control alt delete, which brings up your task manager and you can force quit out of flash. Here on the Mac side, I'm gonna hit command option escape on my keyboard, which brings up my force quit applications dialog box. And I'm gonna go ahead and force quit out of flash just like this. Okay, there we go. Now it's just going to take flash a second to completely crash out. There we go. Something like that. And I get this little dialog box coming up. I'm going to say ignore. And I also get a crash report. I will say don't send. Now notice inside the project files folder, which I've already opened up on my desktop, I have jeffsmovie.fla. And then I have this automatically generated file recover underscore and then jeffsmovie.fla. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reopen the recovered file. Go ahead and double click on that fella there. Now notice as soon as Flash relaunches, it detects that this file was created in a previous Flash session. It's saying, would you like to open this file? I'm gonna say yes. So it's gonna automatically recover this file for me. There we go. So now I have recover underscore jeffsmovie.fla. There's my blue rectangle. OK, now, if I were to go back to the desktop, back down to my project files folder and open up the original Jeff's movie.fla, just for comparison, there's no blue rectangle there. OK, 
So this is the version that I didn't save, Flash recovered it, pretty darn cool. So that's a pretty nice feature inside Flash and I definitely suggest you make use of it. The only other thing that I wanna mention is that this recover file is gonna remain inside the same directory as the original file until either the original file is saved or I take this recover file and I choose file save as and overwrite my original file. Okay, so keep that in mind. So there you go, auto save. And in this exercise, auto recovery, two awesome commands for keeping your work nice and saved up inside Flash.